now the incubation period is around three to four days of course this will depend on the immunological status of the animal and this is the stage we call it inflammation and immune response you know it's the first stage so you need to identify you know whether a particular animal is in the first immune immune response stage or not because here you have to find out whether you would like to really uh, give any uh, anti-inflammatory drug. This is where many people erred. And then when we pointed out to them that, you know, you are interfering very early in the immune response stage. And that is why you are having animals that are lingering. And then, you know, they are you know, going into second and the third stage. And they are the one you know, who are getting very serious. So when we suggested to them that, you know, not much is to be done in the first stage, except you know, finding out what is the stage and at that stage depending upon the severity and the pain the animal is suffering from then you know you'll have to uh, give some palliative kind of treatment now the second stage is where the virus evade the immune response now here the virus is successful you know it has evaded the immune response and now there is a cytokine storm so this cytokine storm is very similar to covid 19. now this cytokine response means you know, uh, you know, lots of you know cytokine, cytokine in response to the uh, 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 in response to the cytopathic effects you know, have been uh, generated in the body, and now these are the one which are causing you know different uh, cytopathies, different organopathies, and we are going to see different uh, symptoms. Uh, so here again, uh, the the most important uh, you know syndrome which we have uh, which we have been you know uh, which we have recorded here is the cardiovascular signs uh, leading to edema uh, in lung as well as you know different use and also fibrinolytic syndrome where you know because of fibrinolysis you know you have uh, you know uh, spontaneous thrombosis uh, just like you know what you see in disseminated intravascular coagulation and that you know leads to you know different kind of uh, you know complications which we will discuss later now this icf uh, complex uh, uh, then you know graduates into what we call as the chronic stage uh, which is you know cachexia generalized edema and then if you know most most of these animals will die of you know different uh, kind of secondary infections bleeding then you know the wounds you know which are very extensive and those who survive you know will remain cachexic and you know have different complicating signs for a very long period of time so basically, these are the these are the three stages. As I have said, the first stage, the immune response stage, where uh, um, it is only the virus which is multiplying and body is responding. The second stage, we, we you know, second stage is one you know which we call it ICF you know stage. Uh, the ICF stage, uh, you know, I'll describe you know what are the symptoms, and then the third stage is the complicating you know, stage, uh, you know, wherein you have cachexia and lingering type of uh, you know lesions and symptoms like you see in dengue fever. So can I have...